is something quite interesting when you combine technology and, and opera, something like opera together. Opera is about a uh, durational experience of time and music, something that we, when we plan and rush through life, we don't get to experience very much anymore. And I think it's more important than ever that people can sit in a, uh, a closed, controlled theatre space and experience and really feel duration as an art form. An opera with VR glasses, why? I suppose when I tried VR for the first time, I thought it's a really crazy way to immerse yourself in someone else's imagination. So I was very curious how, how it would work to take a character on stage and have their imagination also in the theater in that sort of way. Sunny. Sunny is een vrouw die een kind kwijtraakt en onderzoekt en zoekt naar dat kind de hele show lang. Het is voor mij sowieso een nieuwe medium. Dat vind ik fantastisch als je daar een experiment mee maakt om dat theater in te nemen. Dus ik dacht, ja, dit is made for me. Je houdt wel van wat uitdagend? Ik van, ja, ik hou van uh, uitdagende avonturen. En jij bent daarin het kind? Um, we weten nog niet precies of ik dan het kind ben, maar ik ben zelf ook mijn moeder verloren. Ik heet Mona. Um, en dan kijken we of we een soort van elkaars ja zeg maar de rol kunnen opvullen uh, die we missen zeg maar in het leven van de ander it's like a pretty dark storyline it is quite sad yeah but it's also about a process and about how imagination how grief can be used to create things so it is quite a dark story but i hope it shows how that darkness can be used to create something full of life. Was it something that was lacking in the opera world? I don't think imagination is, is lacking in, in opera at all, no, but I think um, maybe the movement towards something that's already designed and imagined uh, is something quite interesting when you combine technology and, and opera, something like opera together.